You're watching News 4 San Antonio. The nation's leading drug problem now heads to Congress. So what's being done in our city to combat the opioid crisis? Find out on News 4 San Antonio. Making headlines tonight, Congress trying to tackle the opioid epidemic. Today, they grilled five wholesale drug distributors about their role in the epidemic, accusing them of failing to realize that a big problem was in the works. Opioid abuse is now the leading cause of injury death in the United States. These individuals are suffering. They do have chronic pain. And here in San Antonio, there's also a renewed focus in the medical community trying to prevent patients from getting addicted. And News 4 San Antonio's Emily Bauckham is here with new numbers on the opioid epidemic right here. Emily? And Randy, as you've reported, there is a countywide task force dedicated to finding solutions to this big problem. First responders say right now they're getting three to six phone calls a day where they have to administer Narcan to reverse an overdose. Doctors are seriously worried about patients losing their lives. We meet pain management doctor Prabdeep Gray while not in an exam room, but in a physical therapy room. It takes physicians um, uh, some time to stop and, and try to figure out, is there anything else that's going on? Many of her patients come to her after turning to pills. Over time, those medications stopped working. You are tolerant to some of the medications and you become dependent on them. And even though they are not helping with your pain, you have to continue to take them. She's not the only doctor looking for alternative treatments. The Bear County Opioid Task Force recently held a summit for nearly 200 health care providers. We've done a lot of work as a task force. Abigail Moore with the San Antonio Council on Alcohol and Drug Awareness spoke at the summit. A hot topic was coming up with better strategies to address pain. We're planning more trainings uh, for physicians, for pharmacists, for the community, and, and just to know that there are other options for treating their pain. The task force is also making sure Narcan is widely available, increasing access to addiction treatment and educating families on the dangers of opioids in the wrong hands. Safe disposal, getting rid of medication, and also storage. Meantime, Dr. Graywall is asking One patients, side, yes, work with me here. Uh, physical therapy, uh, chiropractic care, acupuncture. Let's find the source of the pain instead of something to mask it. And when we're trying to mask the pain for a short time, we may be successful for the first two months or three months. And then what happens? The doctor's advice here, really, be your own advocate. If your doctor prescribes you opioids, then ask why you need them. And also ask if there's an alternative you can try first. Emily Balkum, News 4, San Antonio.